It's back to school time again, and we're gonna help you get the coolest locker in the hallway with this DIY locker decor. Hello and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Engel and today we're going over three different DIYs. Our first DIY, we're gonna show you how to turn pictures of you and your friends into locker magnets. First, you'll wanna start off with pictures of you and your friends. <laughs> that seems like an important one. Start off by heating up your glue gun. I like to put a paper plate underneath my hot glue gun so in case any of the hot glue starts to drip, like it looks like it's already starting to do. We're also gonna need an iron for this, so you might wanna get yours ready and heat it up now. Still, the yellow's still coming out of here since last year. I should just buy a new hot glue gun. My magnets might be, wind up being tinted slightly yellow because my hot glue gun still has yellow crayon in it from last year, and I don't know why it's only the yellow. All right, so basically all I've gotta do is start covering my uh, my pictures in hot glue. I'm gonna slide this on underneath here, place the parchment paper on top, and take my iron and smooth it all around. Be careful that you don't burn yourself. <laughs> it's probably something I should have mentioned. Have a parent or guardian help you if you can, regardless of how old you are. In fact, my mom or dad were here, I'd be like, hey, wanna help? Before you go, I need your help. What? No, it's a recording. Once you let it cool, it should peel. Actually, didn't even make it peel. It just comes right off. And you're gonna see, you see it through there, but it looks I don't know how to describe it, like a little cloudy. So what you do is you take your iron, hold it above just a little bit, but don't let it touch, and hold it here for a couple minutes, and it will start to melt again. All right, so we're gonna let that one cool down, and we're gonna start working on the other one. While those are cooling, I'm gonna get the magnets ready for the back of them. It is really easy to find teeny tiny little just peel and stick magnets. However, I have this giant roll and so I'm just gonna use the giant roll because I gotta use it somewhere. <laughs> Oh, there we go, there's one. Oh, here we go. There we are. So I'm gonna go ahead maybe and cut them out now. You can see how this one has shininess because it's been melted the second time where you hold it on top, but this one here is all cloudy and you can't see the picture very well. We're about to fix that. All right, we're gonna let these cool down a bit, and then we're going to attach these magnets to the back, and they will be done, but you can already see how nice and glossy they look. Now I'm attaching the magnets to the back with hot glue. I really think they're really cute. They're so shiny, and they look all fancy magnety. The fancier magnety you want it to look, the thicker you can make the glue. But yeah, this is DIY number one. All right, on to DIY number two. We're gonna make some magnets, only instead of photo magnets, we're making those fun little like figurine-ish type magnets. We're gonna make some mermaid tail magnets, some gummy bear magnets, and some, what is the other one? Oh, gemstone magnets. <laughs> so all of these magnets we're gonna make with glitter hot glue. So get your hot glue gun ready again. I have a new seashell. Whoops. All right, so we've got some glitter glue sticks here. 
We can pick our colors. And we have some silicone molds. We used these last year to make gummy bear shaped crayons actually in this same glue gun and that's how it wound up these colors. We're gonna start with a green glitter glue. Here we go. Do not eat these gummy bears. Do not eat these mermaid tails. Mermaids are not for eating. Gummy bears sometimes are, but not these guys. If you wanna eat your school supplies, go watch Wendy's channel. <laughs> Once you fill up your silicone molds, you can slip them into the freezer and they'll be ready to pop out maybe by the time we're done with the rest of these. All right, our little hot glue magnets are not so hot anymore. They're nice and frozen and ready to be pushed out of the little silicone molds. So take your silicone mold and bend it around and they should pop out nice and easily. There we go, he's a cute little gummy bear. Whoop, a glitter gummy bear. You can trim some of the excess that, that you have some on the sides with a pair of scissors. Oh, I like this one. This one looks cute. Now all you've gotta do is attach magnets to the back of these. I could pull out the hot glue gun again, but I don't wanna use hot glue to attach it to the hot glue, so I think I'm just gonna use some E6000. Press it on there. Now you've got your little magnet. And once it's dry, he's ready to stick in your locker. The last thing on our list, we are going to make a hanging sign of your name to go in your locker. You're gonna need some Shrinky Dink, um, or it's the generic name, Shrink Film. There's a few things you can do. There's a few things you can do. You could print on a piece of paper your name and some fancy letters, and you could trace over that. You could trace it over an iPad because it's nice and lit up. Or you can even just freehand, write your name and just make sure that all of the letters are connected. And then once you have your name written on the shrinky dink paper, all you've gotta do is cut it out with your craft knife. Keeping in mind that whatever you draw on here will be about half the size when you're done shrinking it. All right, so I have my name cut out here into the shrinky dink paper. And at this point, you would usually put yours into the oven. I hear you can also use a, a blow dryer on a hot setting for this, but so that you can actually see it shrink. Um, I'm going to attempt for the first time to use, uh, what is this called? A hot gun, a hot air gun, a hot, a heat, a heat gun. It says right on there. Heat gun. I've never used this before. I'm a little bit nervous, but this way it's not in the oven where you guys can't see it. And you can watch and laugh if I blow anything up. Once I get this shrunk and when you get yours shrunk, you can press it down with a paper towel to make sure that it stays flat and doesn't curl up. Because I've never tried this before and I don't know exactly how the shrinky dink is gonna work with the paper towel, I'm gonna be extra safe and wrap my paper towel in some parchment paper too. So this will block the heat a little bit and this will um, hopefully keep it from sticking. I'm really nervous about this. In case you couldn't tell. Oh, I can feel it starting to get hot. Whoa, okay. Oh no! I might need to recut this. It's just the S. The era came out okay. I might have <laughs> messed up. This is not going as planned. I lost the most important letter. <laughs> okay, so it's getting late. I'm gonna pause and we're gonna come back. And luckily for you, time will pass instantly and it will be all be fixed and I'll do it right the next time. It's 
It's a new day and we're gonna try this again. Since then I practiced and I think I've got the hang of this a little bit better. So we're gonna pull out the heat gun again. And we're gonna try this again. So one other thing that I noticed is if it starts curling up this way, because, okay, I wanna see. <laughs> How do I show you? If it starts curling up this way, like instinctually, what I always want to do, is I wanted to like blow hot air under under it to try and make it go this way. The problem is because the heat is what makes it shrink, is it makes the problem work. So if you're if it's curling this way, you need to blow hot air on this way to make this side shrink and make it open back up. Okay, let's do this. All right, yay! It worked, yay! I'm, I'm really glad. So it's just kind of a matter of, a matter of, of being patient if you're, you're going the, the heat gun route and remembering that if it starts curling up, resist the urge to try and blow the air in to make it uncurl and heat it from the other side to make it curl back. Now we have a couple options for what we wanna do. You can either trace this onto a, this is basically a shiny sticker, it's a vinyl, or you can also paint this. Painting it might be a little bit easier, but I really wanna try the holographic sticky method. So now I'm gonna trace it on the back so I can trace it on the part I can actually write on. Just make sure if you do that, that you flip it over so that it's mirrored, so that otherwise you're gonna have the reverse. All right, so most of this, I'm gonna try and get out with scissors, but then when we need the craft knife, I'll bring that out. I cut the outline out with scissors, but I've got to get these little holes out of the A's out with a craft knife, so that's what we're doing. got some holes in our A's and now we have a Sarah sticker. <laughs> or in your case, you have your name as a sticker. Wow. The nice thing is, this vinyl is literally a sticker, so you've just gotta peel this off the back. This, is close enough. this looks pretty cool. Oh, this is really cool, it's so shiny. Shiny! Tamatoa would approve. So get yourself some really nice, pretty, in my case, pink. It doesn't have to be pink if you don't want, but I think the pink wire is a really nice touch. Let us see how long we want this to be. That seems good. Maybe a little extra length just to play with. I'm actually just gonna use E6000. Oh, whose locker is this? It's my locker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, oh, no, I was afraid I was gonna break it. It's durable. See, we tested it for durability just now. <laughs> anyway, here we have now all of our DIY locker day tour. We've got pictures of you and your friends turned into fancy little magnets. That's so much fun, I like these. We've got some also little magnets shaped like things like mermaid tails, jewels, and gummy bears. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and decorate our locker. I hope you guys have fun decorating your locker too. Let me know in the comments below which of these is your favorite DIY locker decor. I hope your school year is off to a good start. If you started already and goes well, and you have a great first day back if you haven't went back already. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed our back to school videos. This is our last one of the back to school videos for this year, but don't worry, we'll have more next year and we have lots more fun videos headed your way. 
If you want more videos, we've got videos that come out three times a week about Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see those. And if you don't wanna miss any, make sure you ring the little bell. Otherwise, YouTube probably won't tell you about those new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great school year and I'll see you next time. It's back to school time again and <laughs> I'm gonna throw a rainbow at you. <laughs> Ow. I hit my chin on the table. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> I have almonds in my mouth. Ah!